All right, Algebra 1 students, we're going to look at Unit 2, Lesson 1, Planning a Pizza Party. So within this, we're going to be looking at what goes into um, solving a problem and looking at all the possible things that are going on in it. So our lesson goals, I can explain the meaning of the term constraints. So we're going to look at just a, some basic vocabulary. What is a constraint? How are things kind of um, is there a high? Is there a low? What? How do those things work? Second, I can tell which quantities in a situation can vary and which ones cannot. In most situations, there may be certain things that are stuck, like there's always going to be five players on a basketball court. Um, and then there's other things that can maybe vary. When I took this test, I got a 90, but when I took this test, I got an 85. So those things can vary. But in basketball, there's always five players. Third, I can use letters and numbers to write expressions representing the quantities in a situation. So when we write math problems in algebra, a lot of times we'll write them where we use letters to represent what's going on. We typically use the letters for the things that can change, but we can use them in a lot of different ways. All right, so our vocabulary, we have two um, new words that we're really going to focus on. Constraint is a limit on the possible values in a model. An example of this would be when we're talking about money, decimals are acceptable as long as they go out to two decimal places. But if we were talking about people, decimals wouldn't be acceptable in that. You wouldn't say that there's one and a half people, but you can say that there's one and a half dollars. Model, a mathematical or statistical representation of a problem and used to solve problems and make decisions. So a model can be a math problem, it could be a table of values, it could be a graph, anything that kind of represents what's going on and then can be used to help us make decisions or solve a situation. All right, so I'd like you to try this and bring it to class tomorrow. So here are some letters and what they represent. All costs are in dollars. So the letter M represents cost of a main dish. N represents number of side dishes. S represents cost of a side dish. And T represents the total cost of a meal. We're using letters to represent things and then make problems. So. I'd like you to write down these four problems. So the first one is M equals 750. The second is M equals S plus 450. The third one is NS or N times S equals 6. And the fourth one is M plus N times S equals T. After you've written these down, what I'd like you to do is use this to write what this is saying. So we'll just, I'll do the first one for you and then you can kind of think from there. So the first one is saying M, the main dish is equal, we usually use is, the main dish is $7.50. So write out what these would be in words. You don't have to do any solving. You don't have to figure out that M equals this amount or S equals this amount. Just write them in words. You're taking the math and turning them basically into a sentence. Second thing I'd like you to do is write your own mathematical problem for somebody else to figure out what it's saying using these letters, and you can even use this these problems to help you come up with it. All right, bring that work to class tomorrow, and that is how we will start our discussion at looking into constraints and writing problems to help solve things. Thanks.